Good morning all, it is Monday. Um, I'm not a fan of Mondays, really don't want to go and do my full day at work, but a perk of today is that I don't have university tonight. It's on Thursday this week. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for that. And also, sorry, I'm a bit out of it this morning because I'm so tired. Um, but yeah, I'm excited that I don't have to go to uni and come home at like nine o'clock tonight. And also, um, there's only five working days until half term. So I need to get through Monday to Thursday with the kids. Then we've got Friday as an inset day, so the adults all go in, but obviously the children don't. And then um, half term, so I've got 10 days off. So I'm excited about that. Really need it, can't wait. Hello, it's lunchtime and I'm doing my usual Monday lunch, lunch blah, 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 Monday lunchtime run. Um, I'm tired, I look rough, my hair's greasy, I've got eczema under my eyes, I'm feeling pretty pants, so I'm buying myself a nice lunch and just gonna chill. Hello, so I'm now home. Very glad that Monday is over and that I don't have to go to uni today. Archie always decides to play with his loudest toy every time I start talking, so I'm sorry if you can hear him in the background. But I'm home. I'm very glad about it. I wanted to film my UK Planner Addicts Big Meat Roundup vlog chatty video today, but I think I'm going to run out of light pretty quickly. It's a nice day outside, but the clouds are coming over and it'll be sun... Um, can't talk... sunset in about an hour, so I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to leave it till tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to focus on trying to get the house sorted. Um, you'll probably have seen from last week's vlog, um, I spent yesterday cleaning like all of upstairs um, and getting that back to normal after the carpet fitters were here. So today I need to kind of tidy up downstairs a little bit. And I want to hoover and stuff, but it, it's just a lot of effort. It's just a lot of effort. <laughs> We've got... Um, estate agents coming in to value the house this week so it needs to be done it needs to be sorted but yeah it's just a lot of effort i've just filmed my uk planner addicts um goodie bag haul <laughs> and now i need to find all of this at home oh i'm gonna tell you this now so that hopefully i don't have to talk about it tomorrow yes i am crying <laughs> My dad just called me and said that he's going to bring round um, some sofas that Will and I are having from him and my mum. Um, but he also told me that I should go round to their house tonight because our last um, original dog is being put to sleep tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> so, um... I'm gonna go around there tonight and say goodbye to her. <sighs> oh, it's the hardest part of having pets, it really is. Um, her name is Bramble and she has cancer. And um, my dad actually bred our dog Bonnie who passed away in 2013 and Bramble was the puppy that we kept. So we've literally had her since she was in the womb. <laughs> um, and she was born on St. Patrick's Day, 2004. And she's being put to sleep tomorrow because she's just so poorly with the cancer and it's not fair anymore. So um, I'm gonna go around there and say goodbye to her tonight. It's so hard. <laughs> hey guys, I've already been crying this morning. I said I didn't want to talk about it today, but I feel like our animals are owed it, you know? Like, I should talk about her. Um, so I went to say goodbye to Bramble last night and it was heartbreaking because she's still okay in herself, but she's just so poorly. She's just covered in tumours, so it's the right thing to do, but it's so upsetting. <laughs> um, I almost didn't get ready for work today, I don't want to go, I don't know how long I will last at work but I need to show willing and go in anyway. I'm not sure what time Bramble's going to the vets today, um, 
I wanted to be there but I think my dad's doing it as early as possible um, so I have work and I feel like they just won't understand if I say you know what's going on but I don't know yet um, but yeah it's just not it's not a happy day it's not a happy day we've had Bramble since she was born and I knew I had some photos of her this was her when they were about four weeks old I think and there she was and she still has that pink patch on her nose <laughs> hey guys so it's now just gone three or no just coming up to three and um i'm about to start cleaning the house i had planned to be cleaning all afternoon but my mum and my auntie and my nan came over for tea uh, bramble's appointment at the vets has been booked in for this evening so I'm just trying to keep my mind off that and get the house ready for the estate agent to come and value it tonight so I thought I would just do a speed cleaning segment because lots of you seem to like my speed cleaning so that's what we're gonna do I'm going to tidy up downstairs but I'm not gonna clean anything I'm gonna start cleaning upstairs and work my way down so yeah here we go Good morning everyone, I'm having to quickly chat to you whilst I run about the house and finish getting ready. So, oh I just realised this might make you feel really seasick. Okay, let's stand still for a minute. Um, so I look like rubbish today, I have not washed my hair. I spent most of yesterday evening very upset as you can imagine. Um, but today I'm trying to be, oops trying to open the blind I'm trying to be a bit more positive um, because even though when you lose a dog it is absolutely heartbreaking it feels like losing a person um, it was the right choice for her and she's not suffering and she's with her mum and our black lab Tilly now and that makes me feel better um, yeah I'm getting ready to go to work. The only things getting me through work today are the fact that tomorrow is an inset day, so the children won't be in, so I can spend my morning just planning and getting things ready for after half term. And also, Will's given me some money to go shopping after work and pick up some new tablecloths, um, throws and cushions for our new little setup we're doing out in the conservatory um i absolutely blitzed this house last night top to bottom whole place was gleaming it still is um and it looks really lovely but um the estate agent didn't show up so that was great so they were very apologetic when we called them so we've rebooked it but how annoying <laughs> Hey, so I've just been in the range and you will have seen some of the things that I bought. Um, I'm not like 100% happy with what I bought, but it was like £35 and um, it'll definitely do for now. And it's the sort of colours that I wanted, although I know that Will's not going to like it. But um, that's what happens when you send your girlfriend shopping without you, she buys what she wants. Um, I couldn't get tablecloths though, I managed to get everything I wanted except tablecloths. So I've now come to Dunelm 
and Lidl is right next door so I'm going to see if I can get tablecloths in Dunelm and see if there's anything else nice in there that I want and then I'm going to get myself some flowers from Lidl just to brighten the kitchen up a bit um so yeah come with me okay so I'm home and I now need to do some uni reading before I go to uni tonight but I'll quickly show you what I've done so here is the new kitchen table tablecloth and cute table runner I know they clash I know but I thought they were pretty anyway bought myself some flowers because why not and then we have a tablecloth for the table which is too big but it's literally the only one I could find so we've got that we have a throw and cushions on the two seater sofa a new rug and another throw and cushion on here um, in hindsight I wish I had just spent the extra money and bought another one of the throws that's on the other sofa but um because I know that this one's too bright but it's just for now so it's fine but yeah there we go makes it look a little bit nicer hello please excuse my horrible greasy hair and shiny face I could not be bothered this morning but it is Friday and I am just home from work <laughs> what are you doing he does this all the time yeah so I'm just home from work and it is half term yay yay are you excited it's half term and that means I have a week off to catch up with some uni work to catch up with some videos um, I basically have a week of free time are you okay you're a funny one so um, yeah I have a week of free time and I'm very excited it's much needed um, what was I about to say so I wanted to update you on yesterday, so after I did everything with the house I had to leave for uni, so I went off to uni, checked my emails um, while I was waiting for the lecturer to start, and I got my first essay grade back. I handed in an essay on the 7th of December, so it took them two months <laughs> to get it back to me, but I got it back and I got a distinction, so I'm so happy. For those of you who don't know, an undergrad degree, I think it's the same across the board, but an undergrad degree is marked um, first, second or third class honours and you can have like upper second class honours and then just second class honours. Sorry I keep fiddling with my hair, I know it's so greasy and gross. Um, yeah, so I graduated my undergrad degree with upper <laughs> second class honours um, and I really wanted to get a higher grade this time. Um, a 2-1 is the second highest you can get but a first is the highest. But a master's degree is graded past merit and distinction. So I got 70% on my first assignment, which is a distinction. So I'm so happy. And also our house was valued, look at him. <laughs> our house was valued at about 10K more than we thought it was gonna be valued at. So good news all round yesterday. Hi guys, it's Saturday afternoon and I've just realised I haven't vlogged yet today so I'll come in the living room so this morning we went to view some houses because like I said to you we're thinking of maybe selling our house and we've had estate agents round and we've had two evaluations now um, for the same sort of price range so um, we're thinking we probably will sell because it's been valued for more than what we thought it would be valued for I have like super mixed feelings about it I keep going from being really excited to being really like I just don't want to go through this house renovation process again because still if we want to move to a slightly nicer area um, the houses that we can afford are the ones that need loads of work so we went to view some houses this morning both of them needed a lot of work doing one of them less so than the other but the one that needs more work is actually the one that we like because um, the one that needed slightly less work <sighs> every time I talk to the camera he has to come and take my attention um, what? <laughs> um, yeah the one that needed less work I didn't like the road that it was in as much um, 
it was a little bit smaller and yeah we just didn't really like it it had a few other issues but yeah scary times Good morning everyone, it is Sunday and I'm just flipping through my Project Life album um, trying to have a little look at what I've already done and decide what needs doing next. This is obviously 2017's album. 